When one thinks of China, the sport of surfing doesn't usually come to mind. The most common surfing destination for Chinese enthusiasts is the south of China, on the tropical island of Hainan, where the 2011 Swatch Girls Pro Surfing Contest was held recently. Back here in Beijing, BON's Ian Jacobs found a former surfing pro who's giving people a chance to try out their skills despite the wintry weather. With the sun's beams shining down and reflecting off the warm water of Hainan in the south of China, the best female pro surfers recently faced off against each other in the Swatch Girls Pro Surfing Competition to see who could be the one to ride the wave to victory. Hosted by the Swiss watch company Swatch, the event was the first international pro surfing tournament held in China, and Hainan, with its resemblance to Hawaii, was the perfect location. But while surfing is popular in the more tropical south of China, surfing enthusiasts some 1,600 miles away in Beijing don't have the beaches or the weather to surf. Constantly battling pollution and traffic issues, Beijing residents who want to get a break from their busy lives by relaxing by the water have limited options. But one Beijinger and former surfing pro Wang Hongbing is trying to change that. Wang gives surfing lessons at the Fitbank Health Club in Beijing, combining it with the Chinese martial art of Tai Chi. His club is one of the only places Beijingers can go for surfing without leaving the city, and I went with Wang to give surfing a try. We began with some light stretching, followed by some more stretching, and I was starting to think that if I couldn't keep up with him on land, I'll have no chance once we hit the water. Next, we did Tai Chi, something that Wang uses as a method of relaxation. Tai Chi is a Chinese martial art that's popular amongst many Chinese as a means of meditation. It's believed to improve one's health, and Wang says it also helps with surfing. Uh, Tai Chi brings balance. You need balance to be able to surf, and Tai Chi relaxes your body. So I decided to combine the elements of Tai Chi with surfing as a way to get more Chinese people interested in surfing. During my travels to Hawaii, I saw surfers combine yoga with surfing, so I adopted these methods here with Tai Chi. After getting in touch with my inner self through Tai Chi, it was time to see if I was ready. So Wong had me do one practice to see if I was relaxed enough to take the plunge. <laughs> Getting on the board was easy enough, but staying on seemed to be a problem. <laughs> Wong assured me that surfing in a pool with no waves is a lot easier than out in the ocean, and that the pool is the reason why he can offer Beijingers somewhere to surf. Wong spends much of his time in the south of China surfing, but says he wants to help the growth of surfing in China, and that Beijing is just as good a place as any to start. As the lesson continued, I began to improve, and Wang felt I was finally ready to stand. Yes. Or perhaps not. For East West Sports on BON, I'm Ian Jacobs. Ian now joins us in the studio. Ian, good to see you. Uh, you've dried off there. Now, how did you manage to find uh, such a surf shop here in Beijing? Well, the idea was that the Swatch Girls Pro Tournament was down in Hainan a few weeks ago. So the idea was to find surfing, uh, but apply to Beijing. Now, Beijingers don't have a place to go surfing here. Uh, there's really no body of water around Beijing. So what Mr. Wong's place does is he, is he takes a, well, a swimming pool like we saw, and he offers it so people can, can surf for the first time. He teaches lessons. So th that, that was basically the, the whole method of, of what he's doing. Now, a little bit earlier in the piece, we saw you uh, practicing a little Tai Chi. Now, tell us a little bit how that fits into the, to the surfing uh, experience. Well, the whole, the whole idea of the Tai Chi was to relax your body, and that's what, something that he really wanted to stress. You have to relax your body before you go surfing. Um, I was doing it in a still water swimming pool, and I had some trouble on the board, staying on the board, uh, so I can't even imagine what it's like doing it uh, when the forces of nature are doing what they have to do. Now, a few weeks ago, we saw you out on the slopes with the, uh, the Aaron style in Beijing. And now here, doing the surfing, both board sports. Is there, what, you know, is there some kind of board sport revolution going on here in China? Uh, I mean, realistically speaking, I don't think so. But I, but I do think it is something that, that Beijingers will be interested in. Uh, Hainan is, is known as sort of the Hawaii of China. It's a tropical province in the south. It's beautiful weather all year round.